here. We start in. I am early. No, you are right on time. You are right on time. Hello, missing number. Hello, citizen. Hello, Sprock is Dancy. Hello, JCC. Even in y'all, I, I hope you have uh, room for a little bit more Sentinels in your life after, uh, <laughs> after, uh, right after um, the um, marathon um, of yeah. I, was, I popped on was, yesterday for something, and I was like, "Oh, I'm sure they're done already." And I was like, "Oh, they're, oh, they're still on." <laughs> they, they were, they were still on for a very long time. <laughs> to totally worth it, right? But uh, hey, let's do the thing, and then and then then we can do the thing. Hi, everybody! It's me, Pirate Savvy. And Dover. Hi, welcome to On Deck, where we play Sentinels of the Multiverse every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. But uh, let's do some PSA stuff now. And a lot of believes in civil rights for everyone, and it is being as inclusive as possible. So any comments or activity actively working against that goal is not welcome and won't be tolerated. You are watching Handelabra Games. You can follow us at Handelabra on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And Handelabra Games right here on Twitch. If you would like to see more of me, Pirate Savvy, you can find me on my channel, uh, twitch.tv slash Pirate Savvy. And you can otherwise, otherwise find me on Twitter.com uh, slash Pirate Savvy. Sentinels of, the Sentinels of the Multiverse is currently available for iOS, Android, PC, Mac, and Linux via Steam, and as always, good old analog cardboard and ink. You can get the game and more information at sentinelsdigital.com. And while we're, you know, talking about digital card games and stuff, um, hey, look at this link thing. Um, you guys, we're still, like, like, a little bit short of the goal for this Kickstarter and Zen situation. Did you not... Did you not wallpaper the cars of, of people in parking lots and stuff? Like I told you to last time. <laughs> What's up with Real. that? I made my donation. Yeah. <laughs> Remember the part where I told you to not really bother your friends, but that you should bother your friends, but not really, but really. <laughs> Savvy, it's cold. That's okay. It will keep the cars warm. And by having all of the wallpapered um, reminder advertisements all over them. And you will be warm yourself by walking around, like, you know, doing all the work, wallpapering the cars and storefronts and stuff. This uh, this actually, may or may not be, and by this is not condoned by the end of a lot of people. Please do not. <laughs> do actually, not. Uh, JCC, Dilver is the demon of updog. <laughs> oh <coughs> man but guys yeah this hand the uh we got the we're in the last week of this kickstarter so like bug your friends yo yeah get, get <laughs> do that thing put <sighs> the pedal to the metal put put their money where um something mouth dang it <laughs> there's a there's a there's a saying or something. Yeah, I was playing the demo and I was like, this is fun and I want to play it. So. Mm. It's exciting. I want Night Mist 2, Citizen. Yeah, we got a long way to go to get to Night Mist, so. Yeah, for um, real. I don't know how that works if if we don't get to that, if that's something that can come later, um, or if that's just like, sorry, you missed out. I don't know. I don't know the rules. It better not be that. I know. I don't know the Kickstarter rules. I, I'm hoping that like people will uh, will get. I'm I'm, ho I'm assuming it's going to get funded. I'm I'm hoping it'll be funded, and that way uh, people can play the game and go, "Oh, this is really fun. I wish we had Night Mist, and then we'll do more." But that's I don't know how that works, obviously. So, but right now, did you want to play some Sentinels, Dover? Hey, you know, I figure even if we don't want to. That's why the audience is here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to. Oh. <laughs> we're gonna have to compromise. Okay. The I dreaded mean... C word. <laughs> I mean. I mean that's yeah. That's why we're here. That's why we. That's why we started today. Yes. I suppose. All right. Um. I know, so to see, and I'm as confused as you are. So I've 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 heard about <laughs> it. And I figure now is as good a time as any to learn about it. 
<laughs> oh, you guys. Hey, Martuchin! Sprockets. Sprockets, I see what you did there. <laughs> hey, Martuchin, how are you doing? Yeah. So, um... So today, friends, as we discussed last week, I believe we have one final variant to, to battle, to do battle with. And then we... Yeah, this one's gonna be a pain. I, I fought him before. And, um... It's fine. Not recently. How bad could it be? Uh, <laughs> I well, said the if, words. If, I said the words out loud. Oh, wait, here he is. The last time we fought Infinitor was, um... Thank you for the pun bits, Sprockets. But the last time we fought this guy in his normal form, uh, we were fighting alongside uh, Mr. Bedell. And when I say side by side, I mean, you know, he was, he was kind of a. He kind of had a neutral stance. <laughs> he seemed to enjoy us getting murdered he... as much as. Uh... I'm enjoying the foil shiny part real quick. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, yeah. Boop, boop. Okay. So we got that locked in. Uh, did we have we done all the environments? Yeah, we have. I feel like we have, but I yeah, feel we like... have in fact done all of the environments. I could go back. Remember, I've written down everything that we've done. I believe you. I just I don't remember all of them. There must be ones we've only done like once or something. I guess we've done all of these. Is there anything you you in particular want to fight in? Uh, not particularly, no. Let's um, just can we just not pick an environment? We'll just we'll just fight him. We'll just fight him in the nowhere. You know, I've always felt that like I I would like it if there was some kind of um like null environment where it really didn't do anything other than just play cards that say this card has no effect <laughs> to see just what it would be like to fight uh fight a villain in a kind of you know just in an environment where nothing was uh like nothing else was happening just it's you versus them and that's it yeah that would be that would be interesting where's let me silence my phone not that i'm super popular or anything but i don't want this to ring or anything while we're doing stream okay uh um, i don't know i don't know i don't know what the right answer is or like a, a training simulator environment where like you know not, nothing else comes at you i don't know i don't know what the right answer is and um <laughs> frankly or... if they were interested in my opinion they, they would have beat it out of me i guess i don't know <laughs> or like if this was a real environment um you this is what would be happening right now and you're like oh i'm glad it's not real man <laughs> Um, I'm not familiar with, like, I don't know. I don't know. What should we pick? We gotta pick. We gotta pick. Like, everything is just, just as good or bad as the other one. I mean, we could go with the Celestial Tribunal and uh, possibly have a sword shoved through our planet. I think that's probably a good idea. <laughs> Let's go with that, though. Okay. That's fine. Not to be uh, confused with the Celestial Tribune, which is a uh, newspaper outlining all of the recent events that have happened in the universe. All right. Incidentally, uh, earlier today I was playing Sentinels. I played um, the Sentinels and the Void Guard Sentinels uh, versus La Commodora, and it was um, or La, La, La Capitan. It went great. Yeah, it, it it was just as big a mess as you might assume, <laughs> but it was a fun game. Um. Okay. You gotta pick. Why did they both start with C? I just, you know. I'm easily confused, Savvy. Me too. Me too. Especially because I'm tired. 
<laughs> I'm just there was a there's a meme or something that's like some people are like they say like the was the early bird some people are early birds some people are night owls and then um other people or like people like me are exhausted pigeons we're just tired all the time that's me <laughs> all right um yeah parse come here uh i fuck off. get over here is this a is this guy gonna have m multiple targets to be hitting or is he oh, yeah. like a That's single target? Matter of fact, I, I think it's the point. Like, we don't okay. want to hit Infinitor. We just want to hit his guys. Oh, well, that's we good. We want to hit his uh, manifestations. Well, I'm thinking. I feel like I play the same heroes every week, but I like the same. <laughs> I like the heroes I play every week. <laughs> so it's like, here we are. Um, I'm thinking. Okay, let, let, me, let me go ahead and then reread exactly what this guy does. Uh, crushing cages are removed from the game. Huzzah! I don't have to deal with that anymore. Uh, cards are re revealed from the villain deck until H manifestations are revealed and put into play. Uh, they're indestructible. Uh, reduce damage dealt to manifestations by one. If there are no manifestations in play, you win. Infinitor is a hero target. Increase Wait, come back! Damage dealt... Sorry, continue. No, you're fine. Increase damage dealt to Infinitor by one. When Infinitor will be destroyed, he flips instead. Uh, whenever a manifestation with one or fewer hit points is dealt damage by Infinitor, it is placed under this card. So basically, Infinitor is the only one who can destroy manifestations. Oh, that's awful. Uh, <laughs> on the side, Infinitor's maximum hit points is 90. Infinitor is restored to 90 hit points. All cards under this card are destroyed. Then Infinitor deals each non-hero target X energy damage, and each hero target regains X hit points, where X equals the number of cards destroyed this way. Whenever a manifestation would enter play, Infinitor gains 4 hit points. If an artist play, it is destroyed. At the end of the villain turn, Infinitor deals each non-villain target two energy damage. Any target dealt damage this way deals itself two irreducible psychic damage. So, I guess the moral of the story is not to let him flip. That's nice. I... So, I was thinking maybe... I actually was thinking maybe Dr. Medico. And I don't know, maybe knife. Kniffy. I'm gonna I I think I played her one time and I kinda liked her. I'll play her again. Play something different. Make it make it happen. I'm gonna put Medico at the top, unless you want parse at the top of the order. Uh, and we'll uh put knife put here. Parse on the top? Because okay. she has some. Um, she has stuff that can um, facilitate damage for other characters or make everyone's damage irreducible, so that could come in handy. Okay. I make no promises that I've chosen wisely, but, you know. I, I make no promises either. I mean. Putting Haka in there is kind of reckless, I guess. But you know what? Fortune favors the bold. I learned that when I saw Bohemian Rhapsody. And not because... Oh, that's right. Not because you've been saying that for, you know, a decade. <laughs> hey, you know? I can barely resist the whispers of oblivion. You must help me, heroes. I don't know. It's not oblivion. It's oblivion. Oblivion! Oblivion! What was that voice? I don't know. It's fine. Okay. You have so, to you have to parse. Oh, okay, I I have to I have to. I see through you. Your weaknesses are all too visible. Everybody was very impressed with your Scottish uh, accent. I just want you to know, Dover. Everybody was I, super impressed. I've I've fooled them for years. You're doing you do. Like an act that you do way better. I don't. I don't accent well. Okay, Infinitor. This is the variant. Uh, 
At the start of the game, Infinitor enters play, tormented ally side up. This, this one. As all crushing cages are removed from the game. Yay! Yay? Yeah. The cards are revealed from the villain deck until four manifestations are revealed and put into play. Other revealed cards are shuffled back into the deck. I don't know why I'm making sound effects today. We have a soundboard for that. Manifestation... <laughs> Manifestations... Gameplay. Manifestations are indestructible. Great. Reduce damage dealt to manifestations by one. Ew. If there are no manifestations in play, you win! Hooray! Infinitor is a hero target. Oh. Increased damage dealt uh, by Infinitor... Wait. Infinitor is a hero target. Increased damage dealt by Infinitor by one. When Infinitor would be destroyed, he flips instead. Whenever a manifestation with one or fewer hit points is dealt damage by Infinitor, it is placed under this card. Uh, at the end of the villain's turn, Infinitor deals one manifestation to melee damage. Okay, so just... Hey, Bishop. Hello, Bishop. Okay, so... Question. Yes. Let's pretend that I don't know anything about Infinitor. Um, okay. So it sounds like from just what we're reading that this that he's like a good guy right now, but he's kind of like possessed or something. Yeah, is that... his, his oblivion power is getting him all. Uh, is he gassed up, if you will? Who is he normally, or is he not someone I would know? It's like, or is he just like who's regular? Um. He's, uh, he, he is uh, very close to um, uh, Captain Cosmic. Okay, so he's like a friend of his, sort of. Okay. No, not a friend. Oh. As, as Citizen will... Uh... Captain Cosmic brother. When psychotically like, found... Ooh, that's awful. Okay, so, but, so he's like fighting it, though, in this. So we're trying to help him, sort of? Is that what the, yeah. the gimmick is? Okay. Yes. Cool. Cool. Thanks, friends. I'm learning. Guys, I... I've been so bad about the podcast. I need to get back to it. I stopped. I, I stopped listening around the block. Uh, whatever the episode was after knife, like the block, um, and all of that stuff was where I stopped. I need to get back to it because I'm so behind with all of my lore. Okay, start game. All right, here we go. Ocular swarm. That looks fun. That seems like a fun thing. Twisted miscreation. All right. That thing. Two of them. Those things. Lambent Reaper. That looks less fun than the other stuff. Lambent Sheepish <laughs> Reaper. Lambent. Recalcent Hellion. Is that what that says? Okay, so they, they we pulled four, and then this last one was his him taking a turn, right? Or did he get to pull so. five? Okay. Yeah. Uh, select to be one to be dealt damage. Okay, what's the difference? What do these do? Okay, Ocular Swarm. Whenever this card or any other manifestation card is destroyed, reveal the top card of the villain deck. If the reveal card is a manifestation, put it into play. If not, discard it. And this card deals each hero target one energy damage. Okay. Um, so, uh, on Twisted Miscreation, whenever this card would be dealt damage, reduce that damage to one. Oh, that seems awful. Um... At the end of the villain turn, this... Wait, come back! At the end of the villain turn, this card deals the hero target with the highest hit points. Four energy damage! That seems awful. I feel like we should try to get rid of that. Oh, that's another, yeah. one, another one of those. Lambent Reaper. At the end of the villain turn, this card deals the hero target with the lowest hit point. Two energy damage and two psychic damage! That seems awful also! Okay, we gotta get rid of the, oc the ocular swarm first, though, because, you know... Yeah, we Yeah. And Raquel's in Hellion. At the end of the villain turn, this card deals the tar hero targets with the highest hit point. Three fire damage each. This is just all kinds of... So you say ocular swarm first? Yeah. Okay. Confirm. So we're just going to be taking, a, like, a ton of damage. That seems right. Yeah, Bishop, I I was listening to it when I would, like, drive to and from work, and even at work um, sometimes when I had 
time, but I just, I haven't had a lot of focus uh, for a while. So it's been hard to kind of like get back into it. I think I like overdid it because I was listening to it constantly for like a month. I don't, I don't want to take damage. Well, it's better than letting, uh, letting him take it. Parse, what you got? What cards you got? Well, unfortunately, nothing that really helps. Of course it helps. Everything helps a little bit. All right, not that this is really of any... So he has, be between the lines, one hero may use a power now. If that power deals damage, that damage is irreducible. Critical, Critical multiplier. Anytime, someone dis anytime she discards a card, select a hero target. Increase the damage dealt by that target by one. Okay. For the, the next damage, rather. Uh, if segmentation fault, discard a card. If you do, you may destroy an ongoing or environment card. And targeting arrow... Car steals one target, one irreducible projectile damage. Increase damage dealt to that target by one until the start of your turn. Uh, the card I played was uh, between the lines. It um, I allowed Haka to use his uh, base power, which is dealing two damage to a thing. Uh, I brought the Ocular Swarm down to zero hit points. Nice. So, uh, so we can't. When Infinitor... Yeah, okay. we can't destroy them. Cool. Infinitor has to. Got it. You haven't listened to letters please in months. Life has been unkind to your ability to listen to things. That's so sad, Citizen. That is so sad. Okay. Doctor, doctor. Doctor, doctor. I don't... Uh. Doctor's orders. Doctor Medico deals himself one energy damage. One hero character card other than Doctor Medico regains two hit points. That hero may use a power. I might use that, actually. Flare up! No! Doctor Medico deals one target three energy damage. Doctor Medico and one other hero target each regain one hit point. Also an option. Healing Pulse. At the end of your turn, maybe I'll put this out, actually, I don't know. At the end of your turn, up to three targets regain one hit point each. Uh, power, Dr. Medico deals himself two energy damage. Each hero target, or each hero character card other than Dr. Medico regains two hit points. Maybe we'll put that out, actually. I don't know. He's, he's, I'm spoiled for choice, I feel like. Positive prognosis. Each Medico, or Dr. Medico deals himself one energy damage. Each player may draw a card. Each hero character card regains one hit point. I am spoiled for choice! Spoiled I, for I choice! Agree with I agree with the healing pulse tactic. Yeah. I'm going to put that out. Okay. Play card. And then I would have him use base power on himself, maybe? Can I select a target? Next time the target gains hit points, he's going by two. I don't know. Oh, I guess I can. All right. Yeah, because then I can start punching myself to heal other people. Preventative care. Ooh, I like that. Man, spoiled for choice! And now you can have him heal himself. I will. Right now. Me! Who else wants hit points? Infinitor and Haka. Infinitor! Oh, we don't want Infinitor to die, I suppose. No, we don't. Uh, Haka! All right, Haka, um... Do stuff! What you got, Haka? Dominion? Okay. The Dominion. Whenever an environment card is destroyed, you may draw a card. Uh, ground Pound. When this card enters play, either discard two cards or destroy this card. Uh, Non-hero cards cannot deal damage. At the start of your turn, destroy this card. So I think I'm going to do that. Uh, 
Haka Restoration, draw two cards, then discard one or more cards. Haka regains hit points equal to the number of cards discarded. And Savage Mana. Whenever Haka destroys the target, you may put that target that card beneath this card. And then power destroy all cards beneath this card. Haka deals one target X toxic damage, where X is the number of cards destroyed this way times two. Problem with that is that nothing here can be destroyed. Oh. And so Savage Mana doesn't really do anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to go around pound. Do the thing. And we're going to get rid of Savage Mana. And we're going to get rid of Dominion. And now Haka is going to punch Lambent the Sheepish Reaper. Do it. All right. Kniffy, it is your turn to do a thing. Okay. Let's see what we got. We got Energy Burn. Knife deals one target three energy damage. Then, if the target has ten or more hit points, Knife deals it two energy damage. Well, that's never going to be an issue, I feel like. Nope. So, I mean, it's still an option. Flawless Execution. Whenever damage dealt by a knife reduces a target to one hit point, destroy that target. Well, that's... That's a useless card, I think. Yeah, kind of. Uh, incidental Contact. Uh, knife deals each target one energy damage. Knife may deal an additional... It may deal any... Wait. Knife deals each target one energy damage. Knife may deal any target dealt damage this way an additional one energy damage. So, that's an option. Uh, I assume that means every... That everybody, including... The thing is, uh, Infinitor uh, reduces damage dealt to manifestations by one. Yeah, but they'd still take so, one. No, they wouldn't. It, unless she has a boost to her own damage, they're not going to take anything. Because Incidental Contact only deals one energy damage at a time. It deals one, and then an additional one after. Oh, but so it's not like where... if. She... Like, right, it doesn't increase the damage to two, it's just one. No, 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 I mean, like, so, like, it would, the fir the knife deals each target one energy damage, that would mean n they don't get hit. And then it says, knife deal the additional, any uh, target dealt damage this way, which I guess they don't get dealt damage, the an exactly. additional one energy damage. So I was, so, right. okay, so I guess unless she can have, like, a boost somehow, that's also useless. All right, increase damage dealt by knife to the villain target with the highest Hit point by one. Maybe I'll put that out. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm not sure exactly how that works if... There's no it villain. Says Infinitor is a hero target. So... I don't know. You know what? Why Screw don't I just... Or I put, could kinetic just... Neutral... Ne put kinetic neutralizer out there, take a swing at the Recalis and Tellian, and see what happens. Alright, let's find out. Let's learn together. <laughs> Spark is dancing. Let's find out. Yeah, let's learn together. All right, what should I punch? Uh, uh, the Rakalis the... and Talion. Yeah. I guess I get a plus one. It's showing Yay! kinetic neutralize a plus one. Yay! All right. Is Rakalis and Talion? Yes. yes. Yes, it is. Oh. All right. Oh, because they all have four. Okay. Exactly. So I just have to always hit the one that's got the most hit points. All right. Right. Excellent. Well, that's exciting news. Call to judgment. Uh-oh. Is that... Representative of Earth. I forgot. We also have this going on. <laughs> Who do we want? I'm... I'm gonna suggest Stuntman because Stuntman has the ability to deal three irreducible damage. It's All not right. just because I love Stuntman, but, but it's also, also because of you love Stuntman. <laughs> that's that's also true. <laughs> that's, I'm fine with that. I'm I'm fine with having this attractive man. Okay, and Cell, get in here. Okay. He's like, what's going on over here? Did someone need me to help save the world? Because that's what I'm here for. Uh, let's see. Let's have Knife do it. 
All right. What is it? One hero may use the power on the hero character. Oh, all right. Thanks. <laughs> I fuses. <laughs> what? Uh, should yeah, I pick hit one of those cr twisted miscreations? I will. Yes. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Zero. Take that, scrub. <laughs> Hello, and... I'm Ansel. <laughs> I like it. Hello. Ansel Zimaro. Machinations of a madman. That looks awful. Stop playing these things. Oh, did he get another one of those? Yep. So let's just go ahead and have him kill the first one. Yeah. Ocular Swarm we're getting rid of? Okay. Yes. Fast forward and through the damage. Oh. Oh, I fast forward fast through Fast forwarding that. through the not damage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> not only do I do my own stunts, but I also provide my own testimony. Man, I feel like he's a solid um, representative of Earth. Like, how would you destroy Earth? Going like you like look at him, and be like, "Wow, this is an attractive man." I can't destroy this. I can't destroy this planet, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's how no, that it's works. It's kind of like uh, it's kind of like that the Marvel story or uh, that Dexter's Laboratory Dial M for Monkey episode where uh, after after seeing the the merits that the um, that the heroes of Earth have. <laughs> like, how, how could you? I uh, I'm sorry, friends. Uh, we're this is this is an objective fry stuntman stream. That's that's, that's how that goes. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> hey, Sunmar. Dr. Medico doing his medical thing. Sorry, in my I literally in my head suddenly was like Dr. Medico, like with his own like TV show. This is great. Medico, heck yeah. yeah. What was the new? <laughs> I see what you did. All right, preventative care. Select a target other than Dr. Medico. Prevent that the next damage that would be dealt to that target. You may draw a card. You may play a card. Should I do that? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna say yeah. That's probably a good idea. Okay, we're gonna preventative Just, care. Uh, yes. Who? Infinitor. Yes, oh, you can. I. Oh, all right. Select target. Other can do. Prevent the next damage that would be dealt to that target. Infinitor. Confirm. Okay, I'm gonna draw a card. Intensive care. It's intense. Doctor Medico deals himself two energy. Well, oh, I'll read this in a second. What is it? Deals himself two energy damage. A hero other. Then Dr. Medico regains two hit points. Reduce the next damage dealt to that target by two. Drop the two cards. Um, maybe that. Uh, do a thing. Savvy. Because then I can draw more cards, which I'm... Uh, or do you want the positive prognosis where everybody draws a card? Um... Dr. Medico deals himself one energy damage. Each player may draw a card. Each hero character card regains one hit point. Um, hmm. That's true, Spock and Stancy. They are all attractive in their own way. Ah, what the hey? Uh, yeah, do that. The prognosis. Yeah, everybody can have a card. Ow! Exploit vulnerability. Oh, another flare-up. I like that. Wait, <laughs> it sounded bad. <laughs> During inter intercession. And... Amplified Combatant. Ooh, I like this one. Or do I? Sure you do. Want some rock? Everybody's healing. Do. Exciting, exciting. Um... Select a target. The next time that target regains hit points, increase that. I'm going to put it on pars. 
Yeah, that might be a good plan. Or I can, um... Or on Medico himself. Yeah, or I can just healing pulse. Yeah, do that. How's everybody... Is everybody down at least two hit points? Uh, I think so, yeah. Alright, we'll healing pulse this turn. Top everybody off, you know. Except, Except for, for Medico, Medico, obviously. Yeah. Next time. We'll get him next time. Oh, look, Nightbot. Posting that Thanks Kickstarter. Thank you. Thank you, Nightbot. Also, Nightbot, thank you for not being the fun police this week. Um, yeah, oh, for real. Boy guard, select the first target to gain hit points. Um, Myself? Sure. Make it do what it do. At the end of your turn, up to three targets, green one. Okay, yeah, myself. Oh, I guess that that is just three. That basically covers everyone. Yeah, that's everybody. That's fine. Well. Vitality Surge. Okay. For a second, I got confused. I was looking at her cards. I'm like, okay, what am I going to play? Oh, wait, no. Savvy's playing that one. Yeah. It's me playing Knife with all of her not very viable choices. All right, so her... I can deal up to three targets, one melee damage, and one energy damage, which doesn't do anything, correct? Uh, yeah. Knife deals one target, three energy damage, so that should be okay. Uh, whenever damage dealt by knife reduces a target to one, well, that's, that's another one that's useless. Knife deals one, each target one energy damage. Knife may deal, I mean, that was another one we said is useless. Um, wrecking uppercut. Knife deals one target three melee damage. Discard the top card of the villain deck. I think I'm going to play that one. Do it. <clears throat> Hit the ocular swarm. Okay. Yes. Why, yes. I hope so, Citizen. I hope I get some nice damage. Um, some uh, So I'm going to punch... Uh, Take a swing at one, one of those twisted miscreations. Yeah. Uh, I hope I get some damage boosting, because that would... That would it, solve a lot of my it, problems. Not all of my the, problems. The damage boosting won't really help. Uh, what would help is if uh, Parse would draw one of those fancy uh, all damage is irreducible cards that I know she has but refuses to draw because we kind of <laughs> need it. <laughs> Increase energy damage dealt by by one. Ooh, that's good. That's helpful. Speaking of, speaking of the card, it's like it was like waiting. It was waiting in the wings for its cue. It was like, here I go. All right. Praise artifice. Okay, reveal the top four cards of the villain deck. Put any manifestation cards revealed into play. Discard any one-shots revealed this way. If no manifestation cards were revealed, play the top card of the villain deck. No! Dude, that seems awful. Syntactic analysis. What?! <laughs> what?! <laughs> why, oh though? But why?! Oh man, I am so upset. <laughs> it would not be, um, it wouldn't be an on deck episode if there wasn't some Dover salt, I feel like. Oh. God, the rage. Um, I got the Roy rage. 
what should we get rid of? We can get rid of one of we could this rescalient Ris hellion with this mis twisted miscreation. I'm I'm saying Lamb the other the other uh, ocular swarm. All right. Just remember, whenever this card or any other manifestations is just wait a minute, wait a minute. Only when they're destroyed, but they don't get destroyed. They just get put underneath the. Yeah, let's just get rid of something that's hurting us. Yeah, that's yeah. So either maybe the twisted miscreation. Okay, it deals four damage. This thing deals two targets, or the hero target with the lowest points, two energy and two psychic. Uh, highest oh. damage, three. Uh, oh, no, maybe the Lambin. Get... Yeah, the that's Reaper. What I'm yeah. Yeah. All right. I agree. I agree. I concur. I concur, Dover. Okay, we're taking a lot of ouchies. Fast forwarding. Oh wait. And that was that was my bad. I, I should not have worried so much about. That's okay. Taking about getting rid of the uh, ocular swarm. I uh. I think I was just getting. Uh, I should have I should have spoken up more because I was, I kind of was like, eh, this doesn't seem so bad. But then you were like, no, this is bad. I'm like, oh, well, it must be bad then. And then I just I'm tired. Oh my god. I'm tired, so I just went along. <laughs> I was like, it's fine. Uh. Oh wait, that's right. Sun Man isn't actually part of the party. He only has ten hit points. Did he get hit? He did. Oh. He got he got hurt some. He's getting hurt more. That's the problem. And more. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make that stop. Yeah. Um. <laughs> you get the reaper send to bring out the seasoning. Yes. Is that that salt emote? <laughs> Uh, data mining, getting rid of representative of Earth so that it takes away their alternate lose condition. <laughs> Stuntman's like, bye guys! Au revoir! That's I hear, but now I'm gone. Okay, well... This is fine. All right, let's uh, let's figure out some healing situation. What do we got? Doctor we medical immunization when we need it. Right. Okay. Doctor's orders. Um, he heals himself or deals himself one energy damage. Then uh, one hero, hero character card other than Doctor Medico. Uh, okay. Wait. Uh, is there anything that heals everybody? Doctor Medico deals one target three. Uh. And one other hero target each game. One, that's possible. Intensive care. Doctor two, a hero target other than Dr. Medical regains two hit points. Reduce the next damage dealt to the target by two, maybe. Uh, oh, a positive prognosis. I'll do that again. Peace on bar. Recompile. Healing pulse. Ooh. <laughs> Rampage. Focusing Conduit Blade. Yeah, he's gonna be playing that. Alright. Um, I guess... Hmm. Should I... I could Healing Pulse. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that might be a good thing to do. Considering what's about to... What's coming next. Yeah. Ow! You <laughs> like all of these flare-ups. That's funny. Um... I'd like to heal Dr. Medico. Yes. I'd like to heal... Okay, Haka. Should I heal Infinitor also then? Or Knife? Uh, Knife. Okay. She like, thank you, but in a Scottish accent. So just imagine my voice in a real Scottish accent and not my Scottish accent. <laughs> Which is... Terrible, as as the kids say. What? Fortune favors the bold. Rah! <laughs> Punt all the things. <clears throat> oh, 
Are we... So, we just have to last, like, enough turns to kill all the things, basically. Yeah, basically, to have him kill all the things. I know. And that's gonna be the most frustrating part of this. Look at you just wrecking everything. Yeah, Haka wrecks shop. <laughs> and Vinder's like, ow! Oh, now we're punching- Hey! Hey, Haka! Whoa! Haka! <laughs> Calm it down! Haka! <laughs> you're punching himself! You're at a 12, I need you at about a 7, okay? Uh, silly manifestations. On the bright side, there's no need to wonder where your god is, because he's right here! And he's fresh out of mercy. Yeah, oh, I forgot to turn the game volume back up. I'm sorry, friends. Couldn't hear Jean Marc's beautiful music, all because I forgot oh, to turn man. it back up. Darn it. I, I mean, could have been like, it, before he played that card, it could have been like, eh, Savvy, you're gonna want to step back. You're in the splash zone. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Um, knife deals up to three targets, one minute. Okay, wait. Uh, knife deals one target, three. Minute, okay, um, whenever damage dealt by knife. Okay, wait. Increase energy damage dealt by knife by one. Okay, after this card is destroyed, you may play an equipment card. Power, knife deals. One target, three energy damage, destroy this card. Okay, I'm just gonna put this out there to increase her damage, I think, is, is what I should do. Boop. Alright, I'm gonna punch... I guess the only thing that's got hit points left is this thing. All right, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Look at guys in there. Play this card next to a hero character card. Not, wait, not next to a trial. If there are no valid targets, discard this card. If a target next to this card leaves play, destroy this card. When the card is destroyed, play the top card of the environment deck. What? Okay. Played this card next to a hero character, not next to a trial. So basically, we couldn't play it on Stuntman if he was still out. If there are no valid targets, discard this card. If the target next to this card leaves play, so like if we put it next to knife and knife is is incapacitated, destroy this card. When oh. this card is destroyed, play the top card of the environment deck. So this doesn't really do anything. Not really, no. Um. Let's put it next to Haka. All right, sounds good to me. I, I don't know. The Celestial Chamber. At the start of the environment turn, move one something 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 something. <laughs> no, wait, come back. At the start of the environment turn, move one tribunal AI card from the environment trash into play. At the end of the environment turn, if there are no trials in play, play the top card of the environment deck. Okay, well that's that's gonna be fun time. Um But there will always be a trial in play because it's that paragon of sentience is on I I guess Haka now, right? That's that's great. I guess. Um Something that's dealing damage. Maybe that, that Reaper again? Yeah. Well, one of them anyway. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're taking a lot of lumps right now. Yeah. Let's fast forward through all this awful. Yeah. Medico! Help! Uh... This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> I'm only one glowing doctor. There's only so much I can heal, okay? Uh, 
Uh, what the hey? Punch and stuff. Targeting arrow. Burp, burp, and at burp, this burp. point, there's literally nothing that can be done. <sighs> okay, so... Intensive care. Dr. Medico heals himself to... Or deals himself to energy damage. A hero target other than Dr. Medico regains two hit points. Reduce the next damage to that target by two. Drop to two cards. That's po I probably should do that. Um... Because Dr. Medico deals one target three energy damage, Dr. Medico and one other hero target each regain one hit point. That's not as good. Uh, doctor's orders, Dr. Medico deals himself one energy damage, one hero target character card other than Dr. Medico regains two hit points. That hero may use a power. I say skip using any cards whatsoever because nothing really helps us and all it serves to do is deal Dr. Medico damage. Right, but so if the intensive care lets me draw two cards. Oh yeah, that's actually not a bad. Point. So yes, it deals me two damage, which is a problem. But then I I can either I can heal. E yeah, I can either healing pulse or just use his base power on himself. So and a hero target other than Doctor Medico regains two hit points. Reduce the da next damage dealt to that character by two. So yes, who I should put it probably on the person with the highest. Um. Because I think there's a bunch of those things that deal four damage to the person yeah. with the highest hit points. Yeah. So maybe put it on Haka. Either Haka or Infinitor again. Flare appeals without hurting Medico. Yes, but also cards. Yeah, Haka, I guess. Actually, wait, no. Or I could put uh, on Infinitor. Infinitor. Okay. Infinitor. There's immunization. There we go. And experimental <clears throat> medicine. Okay, so... I would say use your base, base power, power on yourself. Okay. Yeah, because we're doing pretty pretty crummy on hit points right now. Yeah, we are. Okay, uh, select a target to increase their next hit point gain. Me? Yes. <laughs> Myself, please? Intensive care. Look at that. Me, please. Three hit points. Doo, doo, doo. And then knife, maybe? Or. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Haga. I like how this has just now suddenly become, like, the waiting game. Like, now we literally just have to wait hit for him to just destroy stuff. Yeah. Can we even, like... Oh, because the, with the cards that get destroyed by him go underneath... Okay. Because I was like, aren't, aren't these things just going in the trash? Aren't they just going to get reshuffled back into the thing? Yeah. Like... But no, they're going they underneath know. Infinitor when, we, when he destroys them. So they don't go in the exactly. trash. Exactly. I wish there were ways to make him deal damage to things faster. Yeah, that would be super helpful. Uh-huh. Uh, the first time knife would be dealt damage by an environment target each turn. You may redirect that damage to the villain target with the second highest hit points. I'll just put that out, probably. Because uh, one shot, knife deals each target one energy damage. Knife may deal any target dealt this way. Because everything is, like, pretty much he can destroy it. Yeah. So there's like no point in even dealing damage at this point. Right. Do I have anything that uh, deals up to three targets, one melee damage? And uh, oh wait, come back. Uh, it deals. Blah blah blah. We already have one of those out. Deals okay. Each... Uh, everyone in chat, whispers of oblivion. Infinitor deals each target one psychic damage. The problem with that is that all of his mana possessions have DR1, so they're not going to be taking any damage. So, I don't know if them being at zero or negative hit points affects that at all. Otherwise, it won't. And... Plus, uh... The other problem is um, Whispers of Oblivion. Oh, wait. 
and then this other thing that I was looking at. Hold on. If it works, I'll be super happy. If it does work, I'll be super happy. If it doesn't, I'll point at it and say that that's that's what was wrong with it. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> don't worry, Savvy. It's just a conversation that I'm having with the uh Oh. <laughs> the adults are talking, Savvy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. Good. Citizen, I'll hold you to that. Okay, okay. Come on. Don't do the thing. That's... that's... Ugh. All right. Uh, what do we want to get rid of? I'm going to say get rid of the Callus Intellion. Uh, because it deals the two targets with the highest hit points, three fire damage each. I'm fine with that. I support getting rid of that. Well, one of them anyway, because... They just put another just one in the has... <laughs> It's alright. Uh, highest hit points. I guess Haka? Yeah. yeah. Uh... Oh, wait. Cars. Haka? Yeah. Okay. Dr. Medica will help! We heal- we healing Paulson? We doing a little heal pulse? Uh... Or should I... Maybe use your- wait. Uh, use your base power to increase healing to you by two. Okay. Cause we not- cause- cause Dr. Medico not doing so hot. <laughs> and then... Freaking Hellion. Alright, um... I'm gonna say Immunization. Yeah. Okay, Immunization. Dr. Medico deals each hero character card other than himself one irreducible damage that targets dealt damage that we are immune to damage will start your next turn. Yeah, that's good. That's better than, than all of this situation. Uh, yeah, choose for me. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it hits Infinitor. Okay, uh, um... Uh, use either on yourself or on Infinitor that base power again. I don't know, would it stack on Dr. Medico? Yeah, it would stack. Oh, well. Actually, uh... Too late. Uh... Well... I mean, we could go back and... Not necessarily, because I was thinking... Because Infinitor is down to 14, that's not... Yes, yes, but if you parse Haka and Knife are immune to damage right now, if you make it so that two of them are the heroes with the highest hit points, the uh, manifestations in play are going to keep swinging at the guys with the highest hit points, but be unable to do any damage. True. Then can we go back to my use of power and I'll put it on Medico? Uh, or does it? Or should I leave it? Here, switch uh, back to parts. Just play a card. Okay. Okay. Now, between the lines, uh, Doctor Medico, and then have Doctor Medico put uh, either on uh, Haka or knife. I'll put it on Haka. Maybe. Sure. Haka. Get the experimental medicine out, you're killing me. Citizen. You should know by now that I don't make solid decisions. Okay. Uh, 
All right, immunization. Uh, choose for me. <laughs> Please your way. <laughs> I'm doing. I'm trying. And then. And then, on, on knife. Because you already did on a haka, right? Uh. Yes. All right, and at the end of the turn. I hope so. I hope so, Citizen. With our luck, uh, that Whispers is going to be at the very bottom of his deck, and his guys are just going to whittle us down before we can do anything. Right? deals each target one energy damage knife we deal any target dealt damage this way an additional one damage uh, can't use that useless I think I'm gonna energy burn wait battlefield experience when this card is destroyed you may Draw one card and play one card. Knife deals one target, two melee damage, two damage, two damage. Eh, I'll just put this out. The thing is, Pars hasn't drawn any of her deck manipulation, and even if I used, uh, uh, this card is just recompile, uh, he has, the card that would help us is, like, at the last five cards of the deck. Ugh. You know, Citizen, sometimes... Yeah. Overcharge Null Shield. Ooh, I like... I think I like that, maybe. We're getting awful draws. Yeah, sometimes we get pretty terrible draws. Oh. Start of the environment turn, this card deals each target next to a trial three energy damage. Rude. Well, whatever, man. We're, we've been immunized. Oh, yeah, you are you can't take damage this time, so that's good. Found wanting. Uh-oh. Play this card next to... Alright. Alright, that's fine. I'm, I'm not sure how that's gonna work. But whatever, man. You might turn life knife loose on those robots, honestly. Yeah, well, I'm gonna punch some stuff at some point soon, I think. With my 90s uh, light dagger thing. Okay, come on. There it is! There it is! That was the moment of truth! If in order deals each target... One psychic damage. If at least one target is destroyed this okay, I what does it say? If at least one target is destroyed this way, restore all manifestation cards to their maximum hit points. What? Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, but they in theory should all be dead. That's right! Nothing gets destroyed! Oh, you're right. Okay, well. Yes! Is this- is this going well for us? Oh, I see them go- I see the number underneath the card going up! I'm- I'm not fast-forwarding through this, because I'm str I'm very stressed out right now, friends. I'd like to thank the chat for, um informing us that this is actually a, a thing that would work. Uh, and...
and ladies and gentlemen, I'm scared. Unless I'm mistaken, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm afraid. Like a mother hen with her horrible brood of nightmares. <laughs> Tucks them neatly beneath him where they are safe and warm. I'm scared. Oh! Friends, I was scared. We freed! We we helped you, friend! We saved you. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Trick. I'm not gonna lie, I was really scared. <laughs> that worked out. Um, yeah, pretty much. High five, Bishop. Seriously. High fives all around, everyone. High fives all around. I'm high fiving the air. Yeah, legit. Whew. Oh, man. I'm just gonna enjoy this victory screen for a minute. We're all roughly around the same hit points, too. Yeah. We're learning. Hooray. Yeah. Ah, uh, wait. Missing no what pants? What pants are you talking about? I know, that's a lot of spandex. And like the the spandex doesn't really end anywhere. Like it It's like fine, it's superhero face. spandex that has invisible seams. They're invisible. Hmm. Or they they open where they need to, the seams. <laughs> I Good night everybody! <laughs> This is this is a nice oh, basket. Man. Listen, we saved the world somehow, uh, twice. I'm pretty sure the Celestial Tribunal was just they were scared for themselves too. Yeah. They're like in the back trying to hold a trial and we're like, we're trying to deal with this friend situation. Could you just give us a minute? Like that's what was happening. New yeah. game! New uh -huh. game! So, I don't know if you had a plan. Nope. But Not in the slightest. I don't know how this would work, but I thought, since it's so cold so many places, perhaps we should try to do a game where there's lots of hot things. We could fight, like, Citizen Dawn with her light power in, like, Magmar. And I could play Ra, but that's about where my plan ended. <laughs> well, Savvy, I know that, you know, playing Ra is quite a, um, it's an undertaking for you. I know, it's uh, a sacrifice I'm willing to make for the team. Maybe, maybe Absolute Zero, because he's got the ice and the fire, converting the ice to the, to the hot. Alright, well, maybe. here, let's, uh, let's put, uh, Let's put Citizen Dawn out there. Okay. We haven't fought her in a while, I don't think. Alright, and in the environments, we're, we're going to Magmaria. Get in, losers, we're going to Magmaria. <laughs> Get in, losers, we're going to Magmaria. All the hot things. Too hot, hot dang. Call the police and the fireman. Yeah. So I guess I'll take this one. And I'll take that one. So that's that's where my plan ended, I think, is the situation. All right. Well, some man has uh, le, le flammes, lace flammies. Um, let's see. Um, Chrono Ranger has uh, Grease Monkey Fist, which could change uh, his damage to fire damage. Um, Scholar has some fiery stuff. Chrono Ranger has his compound bow, which can deal fire damage. Huh. Um. Let's see. You said what Chrono Ranger is scholar? Well, a lot of these guys have uh, damage that could be fire. I mean, Expatriate has her fire rounds. Yeah, I um, do... 
Yeah. Well, I, I like. I thought about maybe bringing her just because I like expatriate citizens Don's story. So I was like, ah. and you know how I am about expatriate, but I feel like I always play her and Rot together. Arguably, Tempest has lightning, which is fire. I don't know. The problem with Visionary's brain burn is I don't have the proper finesse to make it work. Like, she always just ends up taking 15 damage and I end up sad. Uh... Arguably, too, if Ra gets his correct card out, everyone will be dealing fire damage. You're not wrong. So... Tempest could literally rain fire if he chose. Yes. Um... Hey, Fanatic, uh, get, get out of here and do some holy fire something. Holy fire. Ooh, that's a good one. I like that. You want to play Fanatic? Oh, don't combine Apple Zero with Imbued Fire. You're right. That's true. That's true. You can play Fanatic. I don't mind. I don't mind. Um, thinking... Okay, so I could... I could Tempest... Because lightning, which I feel like that's probably the closest we're going to get to, like, a, a lot of fire. I suppose. I do like Expatriate, but, I mean, this is a fire game. We're trying to do lots of fire. I'm going to have to play her next time to make up for it. All right. Is that me? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to decide. Okay, what order do we uh, want them in? Uh, I'm really with the way they are right now. Okay. All right. This is this is our fire game, friends. Lots of fire. We got lots of lots of. So, warm yourself by this nice game that we've created for you. The world belongs to the citizens of the sun. Oh, you should have read that. Well, well, you shall burn under the baleful gaze of the sun. Yeah. Yeah. Man, Citizen Dawn, like, you're you're frowning. You, you'd be prettier if you smiled more. Oh, Ooh. God, I feel Okay, terrible. so, Citizen feel... Dawn, you feel uh. what? She, uh, she likes light things. Okay, the start of the game. Citizen Dawn enters play. Leaders of uh, Citizens of the Sun side up. Okay. Uh, cards are revealed from the top of the villain deck until three citizens are revealed and put into play. Other revealed cards are shuffled back into the villain deck. Okay. Got it. At the start of the villain turn, if there are five or more citizens in the villain trash, Citizen Dawn flips. She may only flip this way once per game. Okay. At the end of the villain turn... Citizen Dawn deals the hero target with the highest hit points to energy damage. That's great. Okay, Citizen Dawn uh, is immune to damage. Ugh. The start of the villain the turn, way, if there uh, are three or more citizens in play, Citizen Dawn flips. At the end of the villain turn. So, wait. Hey, Sam, how you doing? Sam! Okay, so in I feel like in the past we when we talked about this, we we kind of want her to flip quickly and then flip her back quickly cuz she can only do that one time. I mean, I guess we can avoid flipping her in general. Well, let's see what let's see what citizen she plays. All right, start game. That's generally what Citizen Truth. Citizen Assault. Citizen Autumn. Luminous Leadership. Ah, oh, bummer. Fanatic's like, I just got here and I'm already getting punched. Well, that's fine. I mean, she's all right with taking damage. Ow, 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 ow. I fast forwarded through the damage. Raw's turn. Okay, we got... 
drawn to the flame. Rod deals each non-hero target X fire damage, where X equals the number of villain ongoing cards in play. Well, that's something I could put out there. Hey, drawn to the flame again. Uh, imbued fire. Increase all fire damage by one. Change all the damage type of damage. <laughs> I can't play this card because of absolute zero. Uh, summon staff. We'll play that. Uh, that's, uh, search your deck uh, for the staff of Rob. Put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck. You may draw a card. You may play a card. Bloop. Living conflict. When this card enters play, Rod deals one target two fire damage. Okay, probably do that. Uh, Rod deals one target, one fire damage. You may draw a card. Bloop. You know what? What? Uh, I think you should play... Just go ahead and play Imbued Fire. Don't worry about Absolute Zero right now. Oh. Uh, oh, well, I already... Imbued Fire or Staff of Ra, one of the two. Because right now, Citizen Truth is the only guy we can hit. And he's reducing damage to himself by one. So if we can... Put some pressure on him. Yeah. Well, you have to go back to play a card because I already threw, was throwing out Living Con flag before you told me to. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Strategy. Uh, summon staff. Imbued fire. Hold on. And Citizen Auto might end up destroying cards anyway. That's okay. That's not wrong. Uh, oh, yeah, I can. Oh, yeah, and I can destroy it whenever I want to. So that's yeah. helpful. So when you need to heal, I can get rid of it. Okay, Raw Deals. One, target. Two, fire damage. Okay, who do we hate right now? Or what Citizen am I hitting? Truth. Truth. He's okay. the only guy we can hit. Oh, well, I'm on it. Blazing Tornado. I like it. And he has no cards that he can play, so he is going to double skip. Skip, skip. Oh, fire, you get caught up in the... Oh, fire. Oh, fire. Oh, fire. All right. We got... All right. So... Chain, lightning. Uh, Tempest deals one target four lightning damage. Tempest we deal a second target three lightning damage. Well, you said I can only I can't deal anybody damage. So cleansing downpour. Right. Ooh, each hero target regains two hit points. I'm put that out. Wait, uh, wait, don't, don't. Oh, because uh, of the the thing. Okay. Citizen Autumn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, reclaim from the deep. Each player may take a card from their trash and put. Uh, oh, I guess I'm passing. <laughs> I guess I'm skip. I guess I'm skipping. I guess I could skip skip. I guess. Because his base powers. I mean, he would deal two damage. Would that be worth it? On Citizen Truth? It would deal one damage. Right. Uh, hold on. I'm, I'm thinking now. Uh, oh, wait. Hold on. Villain targets other than Citizen Truth are immune to damage. Reduce damage dealt to Citizen Truth by one. No, because remember... Uh, okay, let's see. When Citizen Truth... Wait, yeah, I think missing numbers might be right. Because I... would be able to kill Citizen Truth, but that would be a waste of the damage that Chain Lightning can deal. No, because he'd be dead, so it can. then I can hit the other two. You would only kill him after using your power. No, because I have Ra's thing that converts everything to fire damage and increases all fire damage by one. But he deals four lightning damage with chain lightning. It increases to increases by one because of uh, Ra, but it gets reduced by one because of Citizen Truth. So you'd only be dealing four true. That's true. with chain lightning. That's true. It's worth using Chain Lightning on just him. I don't know that I agree. So, yeah, I'm not going to do that then. If I could if I could have killed him, then that's fine. But otherwise, I think it's a waste of all the damage. So, I'm going to skip skip. Wait, wait, don't don't skip skip. Uh, use your, uh, what base. do you call it? Um, use your base power. Ugh, He's only going right. to hit Citizen Truth, but I promise it'll be worth it. All right. 
I'd like to have two cards because I have two reclaims from the deep and I can't do anything I, with them for a long time. I completely understand. So... But... And that's when Citizen Truth learned that when you buy the ticket, you're gonna go for a ride. Ooh, I like that. I'll play Otherworldly Resil Resilience next time. Maybe. Puncher! Yeah, Miss Signal, I kind of realized that, like, I skipped forward and I looked at what card she had. I'm like, wait, wait, that's it. All right. Okay, what you got? Jeez. Okay, what just got played? Meg Megmari and Throng? Yeah. At the end of the environment turn, reveal cards from the top of the environment deck until a Magmarian is revealed. Put it into play. Discard the other cards revealed this way. If no Magmarians are put into play this way, destroy this card. Okay, Ember Shaman. This card is immune to fire damage. Uh-oh. <laughs> at the end of the environment turn. Each... Don't worry about it. It's, it's fine. Yeah, each player may discard a Magma Crystal. Any player that does this may use a power now. Um, all right. But he doesn't, like, do anything bad. No, he doesn't really. He's just hanging out. He's fine. Luminous leadership. Oh, okay. Thanks for dropping by, Sam. Oh, bye, Sam. I believe. Thanks, Sam. Thanks for your belief. Citizen Assault. At the end of the villain turn, this card deals each hero target one melee damage. Uh, citizen batteries in play increase damage dealt. Oh, okay. Fast forward. Yeah, the behemoth is a jerk. Fast forward and through the damage. Ra's turn! Okay, so either Staff of Ra. Uh. I throw yeah, out I'm gonna one say of the... Staff of Ra. Yeah. Because then I can. Whatever. Do... Yeah. Because I like healing and I like increased damage, which I think is what that does. Yes. yes. Okay, who... Citizen Dawn. Okay. <laughs> Keep raining the herd down. Whee! Flesh of the Sun God. Bra's immune to fire damage. I like that. Most of the Magmarians won't bother you. The big exception is the Behemoth. Uh, they, that sounds correct. That sounds that sounds very accurate. Oh, dang it. Okay, I forgot that was a thing. What happened? I gotta skip back to play a card. Did By you which I mean skip his entire turn again. There's oh. the Isothermic Transducer. That's what I'm gonna need. That's going to be his only, like, ability to do anything. All right. Uh, the transducer will seduce ya. I, um, I mean, I could chain lightning. Uh, Let's see, yeah, pretty much any of your ongoings are going to get destroyed by Citizen Autumn. So, Chain Lightning might well be a thing. The only problem is, you probably won't want to kill the citizens yet. Well, then, I'll, um, uh, does anybody have stuff in their trash they want back? Uh, yeah, I could use that final dive again. All right. I, I have two of these reclaimed from the deeps, then. And besides, it'll let you draw cards. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I don't... I don't remember what Ra's got. 
Uh, summon staff. That's that's good. That's fair. You may as well use the space power. Hits everyone, but whatever. They're gonna heal two hit points anyway because yeah. of those luminous leaderships. That poor Mag Magmari and Shaman's like, I'm just. I was just over here. Oh, but they're immune to fire damage and everything's fire damage right now. Oh, He's fine. hooray! He's okay. He's fine. <laughs> Citizen, thanks for being there with me. Thanks for being there for me with our Tim Curry reference of the evening. <laughs> that guy's like, where are we going? I don't like this. Put me down. Wait, don't put me down. Fiery crystallization. Inner core tunneler. Wait. At the end of an environment turn, each player may discard a magma crystal. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Um, Any player that does this may use a power now. Why? What does it have to do with discarding cards? I'm confused. Ember Shaman, uh, you, you can discard a magma crystal, and thanks to fire crystallization, all of our equipment cards count oh, as magma okay, crystals. I'm all caught up. It helps to read all of the cards, friends. Savvy? That's gonna get really annoying really fast. This isn't truth. Yeah, just... he's back. We just that return of the dawn. Oh, well, I guess that's. There are worse times that could have been played. Um. Maybe con flag because of the damage you get the deal when it goes out. Um, I just... I also drawn to the flame might not be bad because she's got three yeah, ongoings. Yeah, she's got like five, like three ongoings plus two damage. Yeah, when this card so would just play... deal four damage to Citizen Truth off the bat. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, we'll play drawn to the flame this time. And then choose for me because it's not going to matter. And then, yeah. Summon staff. Skip it, skip. Skip it, skip. Got real quiet in this uh magma chamber. I really did. Music, what ha happened? Come back, please. All right. Um. Now you can use chain lightning if you want. Hit Citizen Truth and then hit Citizen Dawn and then whatever. Yes. Or, uh, Gene Bound Shackles and then use your base power, target Citizen Truth first, and then let nature take its course from there. <laughs> Increase damage dealt by Tempest to the villain target. 
with the highest hit points by two. All right. Make it happen. Yeah, I'd like to get rid of Citizen Autumn because I'd like to play some of my ongoings. <laughs> like... Yeah, that would, that would be... Yeah. Maybe that'll be a thing I can help with. That would be... That would help... That would make Pirates Heavy feel really good about a lot Actually, of things. Actually, yeah, I, I can. So just do what I did. Just do that thing I... What, what I told you to do. Do the thing I said. <laughs> do the thing I said. Uh... Choose for me? No, Citizen Truth first. Citizen, do you remember that episode of The Simpsons where uh, they were at that uh, swap meet and uh, Principal Skinner finds that um, that helmet that he wore in the internment camp or whatever it was in the Vietnam War or something? And um, it's like, oh, hey, 24601. Never thought I'd see the old girl again. And he puts the helmet back on. It's like, it still fits. And, uh, yeah, it's like, small world, huh? He's like, it is. It really, really is. It's like, why are you still wearing the helmet? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so, uh, hey, Autumn, want to see something cool? <laughs> Yeah! Punch her more. Okay, at the start of the environment turn, the Magmarian with the highest hit points deals X fire damage and destroys X equipment cards where the... N oh, jeez. Um, that is not great news. The highest hit points each... Oh, that's a problem. Okay, well, uh... I guess all the words on all the cards is important. Eh, it's fine. How many do we have to destroy? Two? Yeah. Uh, I guess the shackles is fine. Yeah. And the, and the staff is fine, because I can summon another one. Okay. Well then, yeah, so let's, let's do that then. Although, that, that card's going to be a problem going forward, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, a lot of these cards are going to be problems. Deals each hero two energy damage. Each player discards two cards. Rude. Yeah, just fast forward through this garbage. Drawn to flame in play already. Yeah, we can get rid of that. I guess. Flesh of the Sun God? Yeah. Send a reclaim for the deep. Oh, discard that one. Yeah. What does this do? 
At the start of your turn, select a damage type. All damage dealt by Tempest this turn is of that type. Reduce damage of two Tempest of that type by... Uh, I'm, that seems... Let's get rid of that. Nightbot, thanks for reminding us about the Aeon's End Kickstarter. That is currently in its final- WHAT?! Citizen Autumn, I hate you! Currently in its final week! Oh, lordy Lou. Alright, we summon staff. Oh, excavation! Yay! Wait. Put up the three cards in the environment deck. Oh. That's fine. Um, I'll play my. S Wait, if I play my staff, is it just gonna get destroyed again? Uh. Yeah, you're right. By the fire crystallization. Um. What does she do? Hold on. At the end of the villain turn, destroy all ongoing cards controlled by the hero with the lowest hit points. So by. That's Tempest. not necessarily raw right now. What does this do? Pit up to three cards from the environment deck trash on the bottom of the environment deck. You may draw as many cards as you may. Okay, that's not terrible. I kind of like don't know. I got it. Uh, just play your staff and uh, lay the hurt down on Citizen Dawn. Alright. Yeah. Alright, I think Drawn to the Flame is still my best Yeah. Keep doing that. Bet. I mean, if you want to, like, finish off Citizen Dawn for me, I wouldn't be mad at- or, uh, Citizen Autumn. I always oh, Citizen Dawn! You know, either way. I would not be- oh, I guess Tempest can fin can finish that situation. Skip. I'm not sure why I'm doing that. It's fine. Okay. Um. I keep not using chain lightning. I'm gonna use it now. <laughs> Make it happen. Bloop. Confirm. Finish. Um, and then I won't... I don't think I can damage anything else because they're all Magmarians and we, all of right. our damage is fire, so... I mean, it says it's lightning damage, but... Or did it I lies. get... It lies. What? It lies. It, it is It'll a lie. Yeah, it'll convert. Okay. Uh, so let's, uh... Choose a for me. Bloop. Fast forward and through the thing. Electrical storm. Alright, fanatic. Punch something. You know you want to. On one hand, I would have liked to have gotten rid of that Return with the Dawn thing, but at the same time, I'd like to not lose our equipment anymore. Yeah. Crystallized Behemoth! Yeah, he's not great. Yeah. What does it do? When this card enters play, it deals each target four melee damage. That seems awful. Whenever a hero uses a power, this card deals that hero two fire damage. That's nice. 
Uh, when this card is destroyed, one player may move this card to their hand. This card cannot be played from a player's hand. Okay, well. What up, A for effort? A for effort! Citizen Battery? We saw your friend earlier. We saw your hey, companion. Hey, Citizen Battery, where's your friend? Gosh, oh. son of a potato! <laughs> I hate her! Why does she keep showing up? How many Citizen Autumns are there? Or does she just... realize that she's not wanted. Oh. It's like the Dread Pirate Robert. Citizen Autumn is a title. It's uh, not really a... Uh... Okay. We're gonna summon staff first. Living con flag. We already have one of those. Not helpful. Well, kind of. Uh, you can play con flag and hit Citizen Dawn for some damage. That's true. We'll do that. And then, after that, just use the thing you what what been using before. You know what? I haven't seen any of my. Uh... This whole fire wait. blast. Where are my fire blasts, people? Where, where are they? Apparently, all on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Stupid. I Here. I'm loving this drawn to the flame. This game. Yeah, it's it is the MVP. It's basically Fire Blast, but I hit everybody with it because of my things. Lurgan in bed, you are sick today. That is so sad. I am so sorry you are not feeling well. Unacceptable mint. Well, pull up a chair next to our nice warm game that we're playing. We're, we, play, we picked a nice fiery environment with characters that are doing fire damage. Uh, against hey, a villain Rob, that's... Oh, okay. With a nice villain that's doing, like, sun fiery damage. So... Hey, Silk here. Man. Silk! This <laughs> made it in the house! Keep this up just as long as you can, lady. <laughs> skip it, skip it, skip. <laughs> the transducer. Okay, what do I have? I have this nice healing rain, which is always fun. Electrical storm, the start of your turn, Tempest deals each non-hero target one lightning damage that's fun nah. uh tempest deals each non-hero target two cold damage hmm, that seems a little better than my base power it is i'm gonna put that out you know why because game over because i'd like to win please start with their other citizens kill them first i'm gonna kill Polish citizen Al autumn first i don't know yeah, if that'll hey. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to kill Dawn, though, but... If only there were raptors to eat her. I know, right? Uh, choose for me, I guess. <laughs> it's- I like how it's this glacial hail- like a hailstorm. With- But fire. it's fire. <laughs> Fanatic's like- I was- I've been training my whole life for this moment. <laughs> I will smite the transgressor! <laughs> <laughs> kaboom! Well, less of a kaboom and more of a- I know. I feel like Citizen Dawn did not draw well. I feel like she had some- she had bad hands. I- you know, better her than us. I'm not mad about it. I'm just saying, I think... I feel like we've had a lot... A lot more difficult of a time with her in the past. 
yeah, because like when she played uh, Citizen Assault and Citizen Battery, like normally she plays them at the same time. A love of blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah, we. And that's like her opening hand. We didn't see like any citizens. Like we saw Autumn like seventy-five times, and we saw like Truth a couple times. But I don't know, huh. like. Like, Truth is annoying, but didn't really cause that many problems, because, uh, I guess Fnatic was just able to pick him up and drop him in the lava. Yeah. Repeatedly. I don't know. Hey, again, like you said, not complaining. Yeah, 100% not complaining. But yeah, this was, this was a fun fire game. I liked it. <laughs> And we all got to learn some new things about fighting Heroic Infinitor. Yeah. We, we learned- a, I feel like we learned a lot about just ignoring the environment over the game. <laughs> or not ignoring the environment. <laughs> uh, oh, man. We learned valuable lessons about reading all of the words on the cards. Yes. Or did we? Did we learn the lessons, I guess, is the real question. We'll find out next time. Right, find out next week if uh, if Dover and Savvy learn valuable lessons about reading cards. <laughs> oh, I man. Know, that, that depends on whether or not they keep us on. I mean, we've already fought all of the different villains and their variants. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, there's yeah. no uh, expert or challenge versions of them to, you know, none of that exists. So, uh, yeah, I know, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Yeah. Time to go to advanced. Uh, if only that existed, which of yeah, course know, it doesn't. Right? Yeah, clearly, it's a shame. You're going to want to talk to, you know, yeah. uh, John and Jeremy. Maybe they should put those... Uh, maybe they should add those. I don't know. Yeah. For all I know, they don't exist. I guess now now is... um. Now Pirate Savvy should probably try to, like, you know, learn other heroes. <laughs> That should be the next plan. The next plan of attack. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. We probably should fight... Actually, regular, like, any id, we should probably do that more often. Or not more often, but we should do that a couple more times, because that kind of plays out very differently. Yeah, you're right. Every time. I also enjoy fighting... <laughs> I'm going to regret these words. The chairman, just because I like the kind of and, and, and like, is it was it Rook City? Like the music and stuff. I just enjoyed all of that when we played that before, even though he's awful. Yeah, he, he's, he's and Rook the City worst. is the worst. He is he is almost as much a garbage human being as uh, as Spite is. Yeah, but maybe worse just because he hides behind his goons and I don't know. He's awful. They're awful people. I don't know. Citizen, that is that is fantastic. <laughs> Exile and rule of the Ottoman Empire. Gotta uh... lynch the Davenport. So Dover, we're coming up on the end of stream. I yeah, know we sometimes are. we do speed runs, but yeah, I don't think we have enough time. I think, I think because currently you and I are both very tired humans, I think yeah. it's probably not the best plan yeah, to do it, that. Yeah, it is not. Yeah. This is... My new schedule, friends, um, on Mondays has me getting up at 6... I have to be at work at 6.30 in the morning, so I have to get up at, like, 5. And Dover does this, like, every day. So we're, we're tired humans is... FYI, not a huge fan. Yeah, it's not great. So, uh, probably will not be going over our time, at least for a little while. Um, yeah, still here, a problem with the gazebos is I think they can only be harmed by silver weapons. <laughs> silver or epic, I'm not sure. One of the two. Yeah. What is today? It is the well, 26th. I didn't anger the gazebo. Alright. Trying to think of like exciting things to talk about. I really like 
friends, that Kickstarter, like, let's get that thing funded, all right? Because once it's funded, then everybody will see how fun it is, and then we'll be able to get Night Mist, which I'm pretty jazzed about. I'm jazzed about all of it. I, I don't know if you guys have, I, I assume you have sat down and actually, like, played the, uh, the demo. Like, it's really fun. Savvy. Dover. Here, let's fight Bear and Blade. Let's fight real fast. But Dover, I thought we just said I we were. I thought we said let's we weren't. It. We weren't doing Put him this. Put in there. What Put him we, in there. Make where, it happen. Where do you want to fight him? On the platform? I, I yeah. Okay. Mobile defense platform. Make it happen. All right. Um, 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 uh, you. And how about, um, someone who doesn't require any setup, but can feel a lot of you. Yeah, get out there, some man. Um. Young Legacy. Okay. Or, or Ra, Ra. Ra could also eh, work. I'll just Legacy. Done. Young, young Legacy or regular Legacy? Well, regular Legacy helps with the damage dealing. You're like, you're wasting time! I'm ready. Remember when I said let's not do a speed run and then we chatted for like three minutes and now we have Looks less time savvy. for a speed run? Savvy. At last, the destruction of my greatest foes at hand. Legacy shall fail. I something something liberty. <laughs> I did I did whatever Russian -y -y type accent that was. <laughs> Five minutes stopwatch. Start game. Mobile well, platform. I'm fast forwarding. Okay. Fast forwarding. I'm not gonna read cards. I'm just uh, choose for me. It's fine. Dover, you're killing me right now. Okay, cool. Um. Um, 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 the inspiring presence. Yes. Get out there. Fast forward. Face power. You got it. I got it. Okay. Both are allies. Uh, I like that. Uh, let me contract. Uh, okay, what do I got? I got it. Let me see if I can look ahead. No, come back. I just want to see what I have in my hand. Why is this so hard? I just... Yeah, there's Jim's hat. Well, now it's my turn. Um, quick draw. Shot, Tactical shotgun. It's fine. How'd you go? All right. Shoot the defense platform. Shoot it! Oh, can we not damage him while that's out? Yes. Okay. Right. And I drew pride? Oh man, this is great. Dang Wait. it, I forgot to put him at the front of the... Oh, that's a reload. Uh, forgot to put him at the front of the order, huh? Is that what you need yeah, I did. to say? Well, it's fine. Whatever, man. It don't matter. I'm just clicking things. This is fine. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see Team Moreau! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Loving it! Okay, so, uh, you steal it. I got fast forward, I got fast forward! Right. I'm drinking I water. Card. It's, the first it's hydrating. How many times you've played this game that I've been able to play it. it. Makes me so happy. I know! It's been a long time since I've seen it. Play Battalion! Look at those guys. No, not them. Those wacky Battalion Knights. Uh, do you want to... <laughs> I do. I can do deal... I can deal damage to Blade, right? I'm gonna fly... I'm gonna flying smash, then. Unless you want me to bolster allies. No, I just smash him. Okay. Well, I see doing six damage there. Um, uh, the, the blade battalion and the, the device, turret. the turret. Uh, yeah, the turret and the battalion. Okay. Base power. No. Okay, did it. I did the thing. The ultimate baby. Fast forward and do the damage. I think I'm gonna play her, uh... What do you call it? This thing. The quick draw. 
Because she's got pride in her hand, so we'll get, get prejudice. prejudice out there. Yeah, get prejudice out there. And uh, then we're going to attack with a shotgun. It's a vegetarian. Wait, is Baron, Baron Blade's dead, though? Yeah, but he's got his other side to flip to. Oh, okay. Um, should I... Hit him anyway. Okay. <laughs> Just keep hitting him. I forgot. With all those boosts, you'll do more with, with damage of Prime Prejudice. Yes, I'm excited. All oh, those nanites. Uh oh. Uh, okay. Yep. This is fine. We're going over. We're going over the five minutes, Dover. I. Uh, you know what? We blew it. The oh ruin. man, I I did not think about this. Oh look at that! Oh uh, oh god. Um. We, we don't want to blow up those propulsion systems. I screwed oh. up. Uh. Just keep going. Keep going. Doesn't um, matter. Um 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 um. Well, bolts are allies. Ever have a card? Have cards? I don't know. I panicked. Did I just draw another bolster allies? That's hilarious. Uh, galvanize. Look, Jim, uh, 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 not Jim, uh, Ansel doesn't need to be careful. He is stuntman. He is Ansel G. Moreau. Yeah. This is fine. Everything's fine. Nothing is ruined, probably. Bye. <laughs> Fire! Oh, well. Bye. This is a six minute Baron Blade game. You're welcome, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a pleasure. <laughs> Ooh. Well, that went. That went faster than I anticipated. Not gonna lie. Poor Baron Let's Blade. Shoot the outro, Savvy. I know, right? <laughs> Let's do the outro. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. oh, man. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of On Deck with Pirates Happy and Dover. Come back uh, every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time for more Sibling Sentinels shenanigans. If you want more fun Handlobber content, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Time is Handlobber Live with John and Jeremy, the wonderful Handlobber game creators, or developers, rather. Uh, check in for all sorts of stuff including their newest game Aeon Zen which if you haven't already you should kickstart yeah yeah do you need the link I'll get you the link boom yeah it's gonna happen again I know I'm gonna keep throwing this link at you guys till it's funded that's how that's gonna go and by that I right. mean at this time next week uh, it'll be probably funded probably maybe no don't forget tomorrow. to put up the put up the schedule thing oh yeah that should be correct maybe we'll find out Seven, seven, seven. Yeah. I finally did it. This is fine. Right. <laughs> um, you did, uh, you did this. this okay. Uh, Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Time is Dolphin's Dive with Lou Delvin. Um, I think he's still playing One Deck Dungeon. Yes? Still, uh, playing, but usually he did, uh, before he was playing, uh, Sentinels and doing some cool strategy stuff. So, but right now I think he's playing one deck dungeon. So, check it out. Okay. Until Dolphin Rock. Nights. Listen, don't start with me. <laughs> uh, Friday nights era. Uh, fr Friday. We know that's that's Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Settle in with popcorn. Get ready for some Sentinel storytelling with another letdown on Tales from the Archive. Or in some cases, seven hour long Omni Cat Omni team up situation shenanigans. <laughs> right <laughs> my goodness that was a that was a uh, thing that happened yeah. also all witnesses for one i believe it's one more wednesday it was only for november they're doing developer streams um on wednesdays like in the afternoon i think they start at 1 p.m eastern time um so they've been doing uh just stuff about aeon's end i believe 
to help with the Kickstarter stuff. So check those out if you haven't been checking those out. The last one, I believe, is this Wednesday. So uh, Wednesday, what is today? 28th? Wednesday 28th? Yes. Um, if you would like to see more of me, Pirate Savvy, you can find me on my channel at twitch.tv slash Pirate Savvy. And you can otherwise find me on twitter.com uh, slash Pirate Savvy. And Sentinels of the Multiverse was created by Greater Than Games and adapted by Handlock. If you're looking to pick up a super fun game for yourself, Sentinels of the Multiverse is currently available for iOS, Android, PC, Mac, and Linux via Steam. And as always, good old analog cardboard and ink. You can get the game and more information at sentinelsdigital.com. <laughs> well, friends, thanks for coming out, for hanging out with us tonight and playing, yeah. playing some, some card games. As always, and Savvy, thanks for hanging out with me and playing some card games. Yeah, Dover. I always like playing games with you, and I'm glad that we get to have this weekly time together. It's always very it's good nice. Time. Makes Aww. me very happy to spend to spend time with you. Ah, uh, shucks. Uh, I think I've got an, an awe on this. Uh, let me hold on. That is not the right sound effect. <laughs> It's close. It's close enough, probably. Come on, give me some family togetherness. That was not it. No. <laughs> uh, Good night, everybody. I tried. We did our we did our best. Well, friends, have a lovely evening. We will see you next week, and um, I hope you guys, anybody that celebrated your Thanksgiving, I hope you had a nice holiday, and yeah. We'll see you next Monday, December 3rd. See, see you in the, the holiday seasons. Yeah. See you in December. Good night, everybody. Or Peace good out. morning, good afternoon, whatever time it is by you. Have a lovely rest of your day. Bye, friends. Good night. <laughs>